House members should learn soon when they'll return to D.C. And once they do, they'll have a packed agenda, including potentially a new stimulus bill. Joining us now for Connected Congress is Congressman Denny Heck. He's a Democrat from our state's 10th district, which covers portions of Pierce, Thurston, and Mason County. So, Congressman, good morning. Thank you for joining us. Uh, while our state has taken measured approach to reopen, other states are speeding up that process. And so I want to ask you, in your opinion, is that too soon for a lot of these other states? Well, they do so at their own risk. I'm not on the ground there, and I don't know what their capacity is for testing, and I don't know all the data associated with the spread of the virus in each of those states. But I think it's important to think about this the way that Governor Inslee has suggested. This is not an on-off switch. This is a dial, and you rotate it as your capacity to test, to trace, and to isolate increases. Yeah, and as we begin to reopen, is the nation prepared if there is a second wave of the coronavirus? You talk about that dial, it's not a switch. So we're more prepared should there be a second uh, wave than we were for the first wave, but we're nowhere near prepared enough. The truth of the matter is we simply do not yet have the testing capacity for us to be able to corral this thing. To put numbers on that, we're currently testing I believe about 6,000 people per day in Washington state. And we probably need to be fairly well north of 20,000 in order to carry out the protocol of test, trace, and isolate so that it doesn't continue to spread. But we're doing so much better than other states, Ryan. Mm -hmm. Let's put this in perspective. We are under 1,000 deaths, and that's incredibly tragic in Washington state. Washington state's about 12 to 15% smaller than New Jersey. Yet New Jersey has seven or 8,000 deaths as of today. So our, our approach under Governor Inslee to isolate has saved literally thousands and thousands of lives. It is clear that Washington is kind of leading this, but White House is now calling on more states for more testing, uh, specifically all nursing homes. So are states, including Washington, equipped to do that right now? Well, we're ramping up very quickly. We have the supplies in the pipeline. The governor's pretty optimistic that they will arrive within the next two weeks. And I think it's absolutely right that we strategically target our testing to the most vulnerable people initially. That would include uh, long-term care facilities, but it would also include frontline healthcare workers who are exposed to this on a daily basis. And as Congress heads back to Capitol Hill, I wanted to ask you, what will that next stimulus bill look like? Will it include another round of stimulus checks for, for residents? TBD, Ryan, uh, we should find that out today or tomorrow, as a matter of fact. Uh, I think the way, however, that I can confidently predict to characterize the next bill that the House will pass is fairly big and bold because being big and bold is called for. We now have unemployment levels that are beginning to rival that of the Great Depression. This is not a time for us to do a modern day imitation of Herbert Hoover. This is a time to be bold in order to save our nation's economy and the incredible pain and suffering and despair that tens of millions of American families will go through. And when you say bold, are we talking about helping small businesses? Are we helping people individually? Are we helping health care? Uh, can you get in any specific details that we might see? All of the above. Uh, yes, All, everything that you suggest is contemplated for the next bill, whether or not it ends up in the final bill, again, TBD, but we will know shortly. One of the elements that you left off that's critically important is massive aid to local and state government. Local and state government's revenues have fallen off the table, and they have very few tools in order to compensate for that, unlike the federal government. So moreover, don't, do they not only provide needed services to our most vulnerable, but also it is just idiotic as a means of recovering our economy to begin laying off public sector workers who in the aggregate constitute 15 to 17% of the entire American workforce. Yes, lot, definitely a lot to do up in Congress. So you've been a member of the House since 2013. This will be your last year, kind of a victory lap for you. Uh, what do you hope your legacy will be serving Washington State will be? No, I haven't given that a lot of thought, Ryan. I hope that people will consider that uh, I, I fought the good fight, I ran my race, and I kept the faith. I hope people will believe that I sought to reach principal compromises where possible, but that I stood up for my values at each and every turn uh, on behalf of the people of the 10th Congressional District, which have honored me so much these last many years uh, with the opportunity to represent them. And I know you have a lot of work to do before that retirement happens, but I'll ask you a personal question. What is the first thing you're going to do after you retire? 
Well, Ryan is evidently I'm not doing a very good job of it yet because you may have missed the fact that I'm running for lieutenant governor. As a matter of fact, so I, uh, in some regards, I may be jumping from the frying pan into the fire, but there will be some opportunity there, I think, for a bit of a break. And during that, uh, I'm going to do that which I enjoy more than anything else in the world, save spending time with my family. And that's right. Uh, I finished a book over the winter. I have another one in the oven, as they say. Uh, and it is the thing that I find the most psychic gratification and enjoyment. Uh, I just finished a nonfiction book, but what I have in mind is just a great action thriller. And I'm really excited to have a life where it might be possible for me to complete that book as well. So I apologize, I didn't do my homework, but we look forward to your book. So Denny Heck, the author and, and potentially our next Lieutenant Governor. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, Denny Heck, Representative for Congress. And, and we'll hear more from you after that stimulus bill, if and when it does pass. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you, Ryan.